9.7 practice problems. In a blast furnace, furnace, the reaction represented above produces iron from its ore, iron 3 oxide. The reaction is thermodynamically favorable and uh, based on coupling of two reactions represented below. Which of the following identifies a limitation in how representations above describe uh, a system of coupled reactions? So when we look at uh, these systems of coupled reactions, we can see that it is correctly balanced here, and we can see the two uh, separate reactions uh, present. So option choice A is not going to be our best answer choice since the equations are in fact balanced. The values for delta S not being shown, um, while not like the most ideal, we can still derive that delta S is going to be positive, which is about all the information that we need here, because we are going from two solids to a solid and a gas, and therefore increasing entropy. So B is not going to be our best answer choice. And then uh, we have the, the values for delta G for the reaction are not shown. That is going to be more of a problem for us uh, with this coupled reaction. And uh, D says that the coupled reaction lacks a common intermediate species. That is not going to be our problem. So that delta G is not represented. We can't see that it is thermodynamically favorable. That is going to be our biggest problem with that representation above. The reaction in which water is decomposed into hydrogen and oxygen is thermodynamically unfavorable with a delta G greater than zero. However, in an electrolytic cell, uh, such as the one represented opposite, can be used to make the reaction occur. Which of the following identifies a flaw in the representation? So here we have uh, an equation, and that equation is unbalanced. We have one, uh, one water going to one hydrogen and one oxygen, and that is just not happening here. Um, we can see that we have double the amount, approximately, eh, ish, um, of space taken up by the hydrogen versus the oxygen, which would have been better represent, uh, represented by a balanced chemical equation. Um, the oxidation is occurring at the anoid anode instead of the cathode. That's not correct. Um, we are able to uh, get, um, see that represented there. Uh, the equation for the reaction is not correctly balanced. That is a big problem there. Uh, the electrical energy is needed for the reaction to proceed. Uh, that is not um, a flaw. That is a feature of the reaction, of it being uh, an electrolytic cell. And then the relative volumes of the collected gases shown in each tube are incorrect. Um, again, we should have approximately twice the amount of hydrogen than oxygen. So that is not going, uh, uh, not going to be the problem. Now, they might not be exactly twice that, but remember also that these are not going to be perfect uh, representations. Also, that hydrogen is smaller and these are not actually ideal gases, and so hydrogen is going to take up slightly less space than oxygen. So option choice B, where we have uh, the equation not being correctly balanced, is going to be our biggest problem with that representation. The decomposition of sodium chloride into sodium and chlorine is thermodynamically unfavorable. The decomposition requires input of energy from an external source. The diagram represents an electrolytic cell that can be used to drive the decomposition reaction. Uh, so which of the following is the flaw in the, representa uh, in the representation? So we have our, our cathode where we are uh, going ahead and adding in those uh, electrons to uh, precipitate out the sodium, giving it back the uh, electron needed so that it can go ahead and uh, gather around the cathode. We have our anode here where we are going to be able to take away that extra electron uh, to steal it to go ahead and give it to sodium. So um, the oxidation occurring at the anode is not my problem. Uh, the molten sodium is shown on the cathode. No, that's where that should be, so not my problem. 
An, uh, an external source of energy is not shown. That is true. Um, again, it says that there must be an input of energy from an electrical source. That source is not shown. We don't have anything here actually driving this representation. So that is a problem with this representation. And the direction of the electron flow in the wires is incorrect. Uh, nope, the electron flow is correct. We are stealing them from my, um, my anode and giving them to the cathode. And so um, option choice C, where we don't have an external source of energy, is going to be my biggest problem with that representation.